Mm. Oh, he's gonna go for Metropolis. I quite like that. I mean, I quite like that as a Terran at the moment, but Metropolis. Hmm. Mm. It's a it's a nice that's a nice map. Uh, it's a GSL map at the moment, the moment as, well. as well. Yeah. And um, especially in tournaments, a lot of people are playing on Metropolis, which could be why I know Kane Law loves to stay on form and loves to stay in practice. So um. He watches an awful lot of streams, but like myself, it's been known that the two of us would sit up at uh, <laughs> o'clock, three o'clock on Sunday nights, and uh, the the um, the Twitter will be going back and forward. As, uh, yeah, I see that. As the two of us uh, watch, but uh, what's the game? It's usually yeah, most of the time it's it's, it's if Stefano's <laughs> playing. That's exactly <laughs> right. The fanboys are in the corner. Oh uh, dear. Do you see him? Do you see him? But uh, yeah. It's funny how much Star watching StarCraft becomes such a part of my life. I watch probably more StarCraft than I do football now, which is just insane. Oh, I watch, yeah, infinitely more StarCraft than I do football. Yeah. What about, were you a rugby man though, weren't you? Well, I, yeah, but I mean, no, rugby, well, rugby's alright. I think it's a better game sort of, to watch rather than football, because it's more about territory. Yeah, it's, it's a very territory. Um, I've played it for like eight, nine years, I sort of know it inside out, and it's, yeah. yeah. And it's, I don't know, I quite like it just because it's, um, I'm like a sad old man. It lets me relive the glory days, some of it. <laughs> you know, we just sat there in the in the pub, sort of getting sweaty palms and all that, and sort of like feeling your legs start to bounce. <laughs> I no, I don't know that feeling, man. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and just the hand brushing up the, your inner thigh. Ah, uh, dear. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I infinitely watch uh, way more StarCraft than um, yeah, football or any sort of sport, just because it's um. I don't know, it's it's instantly appealing just in the variety that you can get. I mean, um, there's been a lot of talk uh, at the moment of Dota 2 yes. as well. And um, I find that, I don't know, entirely, I just cannot get into it. I would love to, but I just find it incomprehensible. It's at a level now where it's like, I don't know who's winning. I would like somebody to teach us. I think that would make quite a good video series, actually. Um, if we get somebody, I know he's um, quite a player. He is well. He he does uh, as do as does Fear, etc. And but they don't have Dota two access. I do. See. And it's so wasted on me. I feel so guilty for having it because I really would like to play it. But I went on played one game, and it's impossible to learn on the fly. There's no tutorial at all on it. I've done the tutorial of LOL, but you need some. You need you need a team to play in for somebody to teach you. It's a bit like playing uh, the custom games of StarCraft. That's it. Yeah. You need someone to yeah get you in and to but I mean you can't even get the skinny on it because I mean just watching other streams it's um you just see people like running back and forth like hitting each other once and then running back just for fear of getting trapped because it's so much of a team game I think you know because there's so many things going on at once whereas in Starcraft there's it's more uh, adversary versus adversary you know yeah, there's only so much like that uh, yeah. there's only so much that the one person can do uh, so yeah, I've got this lane business and um, yeah I don't know. Right. I think I've Game I'm started. Open to getting into, um, I don't know, becoming a Photoshop genius. Ah, oh, you're getting better. Your artwork's uh, really coming on. I think uh, <laughs> people should I notice your artwork more. I think. Uh, I bought a four-pound Photoshop book the other day. <laughs> <laughs> it's about drop dead. Well, it just says drop dead lighting techniques. It doesn't even say drop dead gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's just oh, it'll just help you drop dead. That's that's nice. I mean, that was well worth four pound. That's probably why the book was on sale four quid down from like twenty. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not bad. It's Photoshop. I mean, it's not use Photoshop, but I mean, it's the uh, Linda dot com uh, Photoshop tutorials are the best, though. They are pretty fantastic. Zeke McClellan used to do them. Uh, he runs his own website now, or Dick McClellan, should I say? They are fantastic. I got work to pay for those at one stage. Um, I just, oh, I just love someone just come around my house and. Wait, you know, just sort of teach me in the flesh and right well, to have um Teach you flesh? Like yeah, teach me <laughs> to press press the flesh. No, but like a proper learning experience <laughs> where I could actually use it in like real world scenarios that he would set me sort of like, okay, yeah. so well you know what I mean, sort of like proper I learn in that sort of way in more of a, a tactile sort of way. I am um, just like on like reading pages of text. But um Well I, I like doing both to be honest. I like somebody sent me a challenge that you know, the one solved. Rather than um, just you know reading off a book and learning that way, uh, that's where I learned how to Photoshop and Illustrator and all that kind of stuff. But that's it. It's um, so hard. Wow, I just I just feel guilty using it just because there's so much. So there we go. These scouts denied though. Mm. <laughs> I'll say what well, I've been talking about Photoshop. There is a game going on in the background. So yes, the um, 
the unorthodox method of getting the supply depot down first has meant that um, yeah he has entirely died to scam. It's really, this is this is great though because Kainler has went from a cloak banshee <laughs> game to a game where he can't get in the base, can't get in at all. So what's he done? He's well he hasn't changed anything up on his own style. He's went fifteen so hats, fifteen pool. Yeah, fifteen pool. Um. Are we gonna see? <laughs> I thought we were gonna see a bunker there. Um, from till that's why I think that that nice drone's been like pulled. The bunker fake out, just like start building the bunker and yeah. uh, make him produce a, a round of uh, zerglings and then just cancel. Run just off cancel it. it, just for the cost of one drone in 25 minutes. Indeed. Uh, I also see. <laughs> it's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this little battle that Kimler had his um, overlord ready, primed to go in. He's not going to make that mistake of not scouting, but Tilt's going to deny him it. That's it. So, I mean, um, we've seen in the last game a bit of a. Well, I don't know if it was. if you could call it an overreaction, but he just. Um, I think Kainal had the Nidus swim in his head from the start of the game. I, I don't think the, the lack of groaning and just building up huge amounts of Zerglings was. A reaction to not scouting. I don't think it was. No, uh, it was no. Was that that was his play stuff. because he knew he probably had about five or six minutes before a thing was going to happen, but he thought it was going to come on the ground, mm. and it didn't. So he's went for a third hatch here, a quick third hatch because he expects um, tilt to revert to form here. I would say. Mm. Tilt. Yeah, just play more straight up. He's denying but the expansion here. This is quite good. He's went for another three racks. Is he going, going to go back to his cheese build? It might be a nice no. push now. No, no, no. Um, it's it's fairly standard timings from till um, just four racks. So a fifth is planned. A fifth has started coming down. If it's if it's so, so walk here, I'm, uh, that that's the reason I really say it because here comes the Overlord Scout. He's going to go five and a half minutes, and he's and tilts. He's going for another barracks. So it's um yeah, if he is gonna build another barracks after this then it is. And he's getting two tech labs though. No, this isn't all in. Not with two tech labs. Maybe uh, maybe it's uh, a mistake for Tabo. Well. I think what he's doing here, he's preventing the scouting. He is indeed. He he's he's prevented the scouting. And then what he's doing, basically, um it's a fake banshee. Yeah. Sort of rush, I would say. He's Except he's not building an evil chamber again. And he hasn't got a queen out yet. Uh, here's just one two about to pop. Yeah. So that's it. he's faking the banshee rush, um where he's I don't know, he's thinking Keno will produce some sort of overreaction and get I don't know. I don't know what he thinks will happen, but then um in one foul swoop he's just gonna run in with a shitload of like one one marines with stim and um combat shield. And to be fair, he's nothing behind it. He's nothing to combat this. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, see, um, no here, comes scout, here, comes scout, here comes the scout, here comes the scout, here comes the scout. He's gonna there wait for. Start building SCVs again. And that's it. Um, oh, here it comes. That's it. Vision one, two, three. He's rounds. found it. That's it. He sees. Um, he sees what's he gonna do? Bailey Nest coming straight up, straight away. He needs to go now. Yes, he goes. By the time he gets down there, um, the Stimman. Not quite finished. Combat shield will be finished. He's fourteen Zerglings be. coming out. Bailey Nest isn't gonna be ready in time. So if uh, Tilt can get his back to the wall, then um, hmm. maybe you're right, just to sort of try and... That's a lot of Zergling there. It's a lot of Zerglings is right, but... No, he has... Yeah, he's, he's got his command centre coming down as well, so this isn't totally all in. Combat shield finished. There we go, move in, move in, move in. Take down the span crawlers. Or go on the, the main. The ramp. Well, he's doing... That's good, that's good. Only sort of like two or three marines can be sort of attacked at any one time, so he's doing a fair amount of damage here. So it's been cleaned up. It's okay, it's cleaned up, but he gave... But that's an awful lot of... Got. But for that, uh, to be fair, but for that Overlord Scout, it would have worked. 100%. <laughs> so now Combat Shield and Stim has finished right. Now he needs to... Um, it needs a tech switch now, he needs to get it, build a factory, yes, which he's doing, which he can then swap out for one of the um, the tech labs in the, the <laughs> barracks. Needs to get the tanks. That's it, I'll, I'll throw out a couple of marauders, at least there. Now he's got the tech labs sat right there. So he's going for another push here, this is this is not what he needs to do. Hit stim now, roughly. He didn't stem at all. 
Oh, there it is. There it is. It's gonna get cleaned up. He's got forces at his front door that will do it. He stems into the anticipation. Yeah, so there you go. Run in. He's okay. He's sitting okay. If I look at the units, um, you know, there's two drones advantage. Uh, there's quite a lot of Zerglings for uh, for Ken there, but you know the if he sticks a bunker up, I don't go for yeah. a run. He needs yeah, a couple of bunkers. He needs Marauders just for the, the additional HP, just to hold yeah, just to hold it off. Yeah, because he's already got Stim as well. Just Marauder, concussive shell. He's got the money for it. He's got the gas for it. That's the thing. He's got all this gas. And um, the starport's coming up, but where's like, the siege tank? Ah, uh, switch, switch it. It's going starport, I suppose, quickly. At least he's going for starport quickly. Um, but this is this is an ill fated move here. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna lack hope. See again, he so he goes back to the wall, but then the main wall are gonna eat. Yeah, now he's in a bit of trouble. Whereas if he'd held that off and thrown up a bunker, well, there's a bunker coming down now too. Whereas he's gonna do a bit of a split. That's good. That's, that's a good split, well. yeah. This will be cleaned up, but it took way, way longer than it would have normally. And we've got all Marines coming out now. Wall is up. What the SCV is going to do? They're fairly well split up this. Yeah. Yeah, they're not worried about that overly, I don't think. Bunkers up. Bunkers up. Get in them. Get in the bunker. Get the bunker. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, no real great loss there, to be perfectly honest. Certainly, um, you know, minerals count to Kindler's well ahead now. He's used that opportunity to drone. Um, but, you know, if I look at the units lost tab, hmm, slightly more for, for, um, for tilt, certainly, but it's, it's, it's quite even in many, many regards. Another I'm two parks. Um, I'd like to see him expand again, get a third down. So would I. Um, I would have rather seen the siege tank coming out here swap rather than another two barracks. Not another two barracks. Um, yeah, and siege tank, marauders, anything. Just not marines. They just can't cut it. No, he, he has that. He has that well sorted out. Here we go. Yeah, he's coming for a drop. That that's good. Uh, the other thing that he could probably do is if he if he does some building swapping here, he could get that uh, starport over, switch it for a tep, tech lab and one of the barracks, and produce one banshee. Through one banshee, yeah. Through one banshee. It doesn't even need to be cloaked. Just that's one okay, banshee. We'll see this. Yeah, there we go. We've seen it already. The queen's. Oh no, the queen was just putting the tumor up. But that's good. The queen will die. Needs to drop the rest of those marines out of the medivac. The good, good, good. are there. Lift them. Um, lift it up. That's it. And get it right. That's cool. Yeah, no that's problem. good. Take Just the queen out now. Take the queen out. See the reaction from Kano. He's pulled back all of his forces. He was yeah. knocking on Tilt's front door and he pulled them all back. Just with one medevac. So he's going for a run now for the main base though. But I mean, he's a fit. Right. if he could just get a t if he could get one tank up the high ground here, it would mm -hmm. put him off so much. Just one. Massive. Uh, oh, oh, this is so this good. From stim, stim, stim. Stim it, Christ! <laughs> there we go. Look at that. That's oh cool. my God, that is so expensive. Cancel, that's it. This is terrific. Buddy. Was that for a bit of timing. That was just pure luck there. But but. I'd rather be lucky than good any day. Oh, absolutely! Uh, you want to start sniping these um, these overlords that are pushing out right across the map. Take them out. That's it. He's now um, starting his third, not in the usual place, not on the low ground. Yeah, well, is this is interesting. It's good. There we go. See, Large, uh, thing you want to lift as many of those as you can in your in your medevac if you can. But I mean, took out most of the bayonets. Has got a good force here. It's interesting, a couple of siege tanks, I'll say it again. <laughs> just one or two would do, just to high ground, make a force the tech switch out of out of Kendler, so you can start getting, he's got this infestation pit coming up now, he's spending some money in spore crawlers because he's starting to feel a bit uncomfortable, he just does, is not sure what's going to happen. That's it, but, um, and it's good that he's, um, he's uh, tilt is planning ahead and he's, he's getting that base, he's going for a doom drop now with two full medibacks. On their way around the pack, they will be scouted on foot. Well, mm. they will be seen by Kainwell, and he's been top notch so far today. With a couple of Vikings. Let's 
see this smiley face from Kenmore. Yeah, he's enjoying it. I think is is, is what he's what he's hinting at there. So we have. Get in that bunker. There we go. The <laughs> Get in that other bunker. There we go. Lift it off. That's it. Let the SCVs die. Yeah. Can't repair that bunker. Where Wait, did the drop go? The drop's just sitting there. Oh. Uh, because uh, you need to attack them individually then. I see. Uh, they will not be automatically attacked. Um, Kinder's nuts. You know, he's not sitting with a great deal of... Uh, he's got the Dean drop uh, to it has in the back. He needs to move that in now. Um, both parties have huge amounts of money. Um, yeah. And that's it, they are constructing Marines back. There we go, he's seen the base. It is a planetary. That will be cleared up pretty nicely by the planetary fortress. No, oh, no, it's going to be saved. Planetaries pay for themselves sometimes, and when uh, yeah, Kinner no, hasn't no, got no, the tech switch yeah, at the moment. But there we go. I mean, see all other bases though. Um, Kinner has um, just floated Noble Lord over there and has started dropping creep just to try and. He's trying to deny it, but he's still only stuck on not one Zerglings. That's all he has at the moment. He's trying to build a spare. He's getting pathogen glands. With those two drops. He in. just needs to go. What are you waiting on? It's all there. I mean, waiting he could take it. <laughs> he could take out the infestation pit. He could take out two queens here. He could take out whatever he wants. To be perfectly honest. That's it. Uh, just that spore crawler. Yeah, I just on the high ground. Yeah, if he just drops the two medivacs by the spawning pool. But and again, he's it, sticking, he's sticking gone. with just this walk of marines across the map, which he's ready for. Or is he? <laughs> mm, don't know. Unless he's um, a diversionary tactic, he's gonna. And he's got too many, too many forces. Throw the drop in the back. Because I mean, he's currently supply cap. Three I mean, The other thing is, Kimler has no no gas here. He needs to start wor worrying about getting himself some gas. He's gone up the hive, but especially he's no gas for Bianlins. Yeah, especially if he's going for a spy as well. Then yeah. He's in a bit of trouble here, Killer. I mean, he has an awful lot of forces. These 11 investors are what he's They're banking on. The rocks. There we go, the big stem against the wall and destructible yeah, rocks. Yeah, he's good. good. That would do. And he's he survives, and that's, you know. So I do. Now the the investors are going to come and now clean it up. Anything. But they're going to use an awful lot of energy to do it. Yeah, not sitting so hot. And in the meantime. Still the drop not coming in. <laughs> This drop still sitting there. I don't believe this. As he's totally forgotten about it. Yeah. He's enough money here to tech switch again, though. That's the important thing. He needs to get on the factories. Get Thor's if he he's suspects. Building a second factory now. He's just cancelled it. He was just currently building a second factory. I think he forgot that he already had one. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. He's building another barracks instead, though. Um, oh, he gets. He, he does get. Uh, I mean, this is a style. Without doubt, this is a style. He's loading up another uh, medivac. He's forgotten about the, the doom drop at the back. Oh my god! No, he's seen it. He's seen it. He's now moving in. Ah. Marines dropped. One medivac will probably go down. But oh, it had about five marines in it. The drop continues. The meter will go down if he clicks on it. Okay. So fine crawler goes down. Meter goes down. Two more mutants take its place. Oh, if he get it dropped, then oh no 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 no! That other medivac. He needs to drop them. Um, couple more rings quick. He can do it. Oh, he's got it. Oh, this is too nervy. So yes, wow. Well. It's very, very even. Apart from the fact that <laughs> Tilt has no supply. If he had no money, should I say? That's it. He's keeping it low. He's building nine rings at a time, though. That is true. So I mean, that's 450 per tick. He needs another base, though. Yeah, that's it. I mean, he's, he's only relying now on his, um, his third. Okay, and there's double expanded here. At the side, I've got the push and we're, um, No so one, two. Aren't enough to just hold this off, really. No. If he could stem into this again, he'd take it off. And he hasn't got enough medivacs either, I don't think. He'd see that. He's seen it. Yeah, the medivac floating over. He saw it. 
There's no, fungal. Infestors are just too good a counter for the all those infestors. But those infestors are sitting naked now. Yeah. A couple of free overlords as well. Don't worry about the infested Terrans, that's four or five. Yeah, don't care, don't care, take them all out. Oh, uh, this is. Oh, God. He still only got Zerglings and Infestors, any? No. He needs to stop building Marines. At the Marines, he needs a tech switch out of it. We've said this a couple of times. The mutas are in the base. Yeah, right, yeah. And the mutas are only not not. They will they will die. God. <laughs> Real men drill deep. Isn't it amazing what what difference a game can make? Just one game. That's it. So now um, the running tilt is looking to expand again. He's actually. Taking out the overlord and just waiting for the creep to recede there in the top left. Mm. The mutants are now on their patrol there, just going around yeah. looking for a bit of action. But I mean, a handful of marines will do it. They're going to be 2 2 in a minute, mm -hmm. which is a tilt sweet spot. He's got north, uh, Kindler's got north five infestors, north seven bandings. Uh, he's floating so many minerals. Uh, I keep on saying it, but tilt has the money for a tech switch here. He can go for five or six tanks here. Yeah, that's it. His entire army at the moment can be neutralised with two infestors. One Thor would even be really effective. One mm -hmm. Thor against yeah, all those mutas. Heavy armor. Yeah. You know, otherwise, Kinnell's going to run away with this again. He's going to get a few more infestors. Then say, you know what? Balls to it. I'm going for ultras again. Yeah. That'll be it. And then that'll be that. Is exactly right. So we've got a small push coming here to the left and a big push to the right. Mm. So we split his force in this. <laughs> Something new. He's got uh, his expansion up going here. Oh, these That's infestors are going to be caught to all by themselves, are they? They're in a really bad position. Here we go, if he can stem in quickly. Oh, he's giving this place away. They're going to get... Oh, fungal. He could have taken out all those infestors, but here we go. And he's dropping it three places at once. This is so good. He keeps on shooting overlords, but... <laughs> so, let's go to the wrong place and see nothing in the main base. The uh, first hatch in the Hatch is down. Okay, that'll do. Forget it. He's got seven away. Does the and he got out. This is. Oh, one's gonna go down. Yeah, Second one's gonna one go down. One many back four marines survive. Yeah, oh, that's okay. I'll take that out good. But he's just gonna find all those pesky marines at the front door. And if you look at the the units lost tab, I mean, again, there's lost more resources. But then Kamel has. 40 bandings. Yeah, this is this is pretty severe. This is the biggest problem. That cup of one tank, two tanks at the top of two there. Yeah, would have just all oh, you know, wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, mine's starting to the crawl a bit. I mean, you're not streaming, so. <laughs> and this is the oh, what a move and. The it's been waiting to happen, to be perfectly honest, because the Reliance on Marines. But then, here we go, yeah. To be fair, that wasn't his main mine and base, but it's all these barracks that are sitting there. He's got one. Oh, God. Oh, but... My kingdom, my horse, my everything for two tanks, they're right there. So, um, is he starting to rebuild? He's building another barracks. Um, I take it. No, it's 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 GG. Yeah, so. It's GG. Uh, there were actually uh, two. There were two key engagements. Sir, where he could have taken four or five festers out, um, but he decided to take down an overlord just because of his vision. If he'd have went straight for the infestors, the infestors would have died. That's it. Yep. But now he's running in trying to. Yeah, it's quite unlucky because it was held on such a knife edge there for such a long time. I'll say he just needs to pull the SCVs down to the Lamprey Fortress if he does mean to continue. 
I said Barracks is just about to finish. Well pushed. It was a good push. I make that three one to Mr. Kenmore. It is three one to Miss Mr. Kenmore. Um So one more game and he's taken it. He has, but that was so close. I mean, in many ways, that was the best game there was because there was uh, a long period where uh, Tilt had him on the ropes, and but for a couple of engagements, the Doom drop sitting at the back of the base for too long. Uh, well, if he had dropped that at the right time, that would cause massive damage. When uh, Kindler only had the not one Zerglings, and they did two Medivacs full with very very little else. All he had was not one Zerglings. He didn't have the Mutas at that stage. He didn't have any of those things. He could have taken an awful lot of stuff out. Um, and well, for certain encouraging though. Um, if this is well, wow, if this were a best of twenty, I think we'd see a lot more improvement from Till than from King.